Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd and welcome to Iron Lung, a horror game about being in a tiny submarine and, uh, okay, let's go over stuff that I don't like. So, one, the ocean, not keen on the ocean, kind of freaks me out a bit. Two, small confined spaces, don't like them either. So, being in a submarine is already pretty much my worst nightmare. And that's before, you know, the whole horror game situation. Oh, and don't forget, as you may have noticed, the ocean appears to be in an alien ocean filled with blood. So, okay, I feel like I'm not going to have a nice time today. So, decades ago, everything just disappeared, leaving only those alive who were on space stations or starships. The event known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. One such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. You are a convict tasked with exploring the anomaly in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you'll be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training, if successful, you'll earn your freedom. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm not earning my freedom today. I don't feel good about this. In fact, you just welded me inside. So, okay, this just this just isn't gonna end well for me. No. Beginning at descent. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Closing porthole shielding. We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so risk thing and be careful. You're on your own. Good. Okay, so submarine and oh it's really it's really small. You could have maybe sprung for a second light bulb, guys. Bloody hell. Okay, so apparently this isn't the first Blood Ocean, this is Blood Ocean at number four, and we've got some points of interest to my job is to photograph them using the subs up forward camera. I can also use the camera to help with navigation because, uh, yes, I can't navigate by sight. So I need to use uh, coordinates, the map, and a camera to navigate blind in the sinister blood ocean. Oh, good, this just gets better and better. Oh, and when it says map right, this game's taking things uh, seriously. I don't have a marker on this map because I'm literally just holding a paper map. I've got coordinates here, absolutely, but nothing else. So, okay, hang about. Okay, step one, I need to figure out where I am. So, I am... Depth is pretty far down, hang on. What do I do to change the... What does this do? Is this is this up or is this forwards? That's... No, that's turning. Okay, hang on. Hang on, that's... Okay, that's, that's turning. Yes, 360 degrees. Current coordinates approximately 180 to 120. Okay, that puts me where the mouse cursor is right now. So, if we just keep going forward till we hit approximately 200Y, assuming we don't scrape against the cave, then we stop there, turn to 90 degrees, and then just keep going forward till we reach approximately, yes, X maybe 320. That should do... Just fine, so okay, we've got a plan. And you, that is the... Okay, that's the camera. Okay, I've also got a terminal at the rear of the sub, so... Okay. Query. I'm going to ask the thing for help. Unknown query. Okay, we might need to figure out, yes, what the instructions are for the terminal. Okay, John, stick to the planner here. Stick to the plan. So, just go forward. Are we accelerating? We might be accelerating. We said go to 200. Now, there was mention of uh, proximity alerts. So, presumably, in the event that I hear, like, beeping, that might mean I'm not in 
the right space. So we're going up. We want to hit approximately 200. There's a bit of momentum in the whole thing too. Okay, maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit further. That might be a bit too much, but... Yeah, we should now be approximately here-ish, right? So X182, Y200. So approximately here. So, okay. Turn you round, because ultimately I need to be getting to... Yes, 322186. So now, if I go in this direction, X should start going up fast. Y relatively slowly should decrease. All right, there we go. We're now going in the right direction. There should be no obstacles between me and there. Radar. Okay. Estimation. I could be coming nearby to this right here, right? 21214. It's more like 214. I mean, it could be anything. Hang on. Just... Push the thing, then stand back so it can't jump scare me. Unknown. Thing. Possibly seaweed. I think we're going to pass it by. I think we're going to pass it by just fine. Keep going. And, okay, the radar is it's getting nearer. Nope, it's getting further away again. We're all absolutely fine. Hopefully, this is now a good heading. Keep on keeping on. If anything, maybe we need to slightly increase the steepness of the angle. Yeah, to maybe like 94 degrees. Keep going. And that is still going down. Sorry, the exact number we're going for is uh, 322 to 186. Okay, significantly increase angle steepness. 322. It should be good. 322. Okay. Now we need to slightly bring her up and around. So if we get to approximately 320, get up to 321, and then angle, rotate to 33 degrees. That should be acceptable. Thing, back off. Rocks. Handful of rocks. Definitely more ominous roaring as well. So, okay. So, if I now just continue, basically at approximately 45 degrees, this should now bring me to about the right situation. So, okay. Hearing some rumbling. Was that... Was that always there? Was, was that always there? I don't know. 378 to 268. Okay, hang on. I think we're going... I mean, I thought that would be about right, but we're approaching, yes, the X number way too fast. The Y number needs to go up more, suggesting a shallower angle would be more appropriate. So, here we go. We're closing in on something. Something is probably the edge of this wall over here. It's not that close. We should be then again. Might not be. Could be a creepy thing. To be honest, especially as the game just saved a progress, which worries me deeply. 378263. I think we're heading in a pretty good direction right now. Because, yeah, why should be going up faster? And maybe just shallow out the angle a little bit. More like 30 degrees. Coming up on. Okay. Coming up on 378, coming up on... Coming up on 263 already, actually. Okay. So, we need to significantly... Okay, we're, we're way shy. We're way shy in a whole bunch of ways. So, just shuffle this out over in this direction. Make you go up a lot. Make you go up not much at all. 378266. That is not... Quite close enough on the Y. I've overshot on the Y. So bring her round to 180. Send her forward a little bit. Alright, that's that's good. 266. Requested angle was at 50 
degrees, so even a herb back out there, if you'd be so kind, over to 15. This should be correct. More rocks. Similar. Problem is, you can't really tell what you're looking at. Is that going to be acceptable? That's going to be acceptable. Now, I'm guessing, yeah, next logical thing would be just try and do a straight shot to here, but then things are going to start getting complicated. But for the time being, an angle of approximately, ooh, I don't know, maybe 300 odd degrees should get me to underneath it. Basic controls, no trouble so far, but you know what? It's a horror game. I've got a fire extinguisher. I've got more ominous roaring. I'm guessing stuff's going to get... Was that drip always happening? Oh, I feel like, yes, between the O2 meter and, uh, yes, the dripping. The sub's going to just get in worse and worse shape as time goes by, isn't it? Okay, looks like we're going to hit underneath it first. Because 260 would be... Oh. Watch out for rocks, just correct a little bit. Can we get to 260? We should be course correct more. We good? I think we're fine. 260 is good enough on X. Now it's behind me, so I'm moving away from it. We're fine. Meaning, now I need to do is just go straight up to approximately 406. Bring around to as good as zero and whack her up. 405 is near enough. So, okay, this should, even though it's not precise, be good enough. If you just kind of use a rough. That's not rocks. That's. Ocean of blood isn't necessarily an ocean of blood. What if this isn't an ocean of blood? What if this is an organism? What if it's all alive? What if the entire planet is alive? I just don't want to look at it when the thing comes up. It appears to be static, however, because the photo is not suggesting movement. Okay, this is this is fine. Don't don't panic. It's all under control. I don't know whether I trust this. So okay, let's just go back down here. Okay, current position approximately 360 to 275. That puts us just north of photo number two. So if I now just go up at 45 degrees, yeah, basically I want to see something straight ahead of me. That should actually work pretty nicely. So spin her around to 45 degrees, maybe a tiny bit more shallow to avoid the corner. About 40. So yeah, now I should be traveling in approximately this direction. I want to see something dead ahead of me. That means I've reached the entrance to the small cavern I need to go through. Okay. Beat that. That could be right there. In a way, I kind of want to work around that. It's okay. Keep going. Yeah. Now, when I pass that, actually, that's where things might get interesting. That might mean I'm in the right moment to start turning. I could use the proximity detector as, like, a parking assist thing. So, okay. Go. That now goes off. I'm now at approximately 385 to 320. So now, about 90 degrees... Should actually do the job, but pretty bloody well. Let's try that. We're doing proper navigation on this particular occasion. So just a pure 90 right there. I'm expecting to see, yeah, bleeps on my right. How close are we? Pretty close. Maybe we ease off a little bit. Just go up a tiny amount. Yeah, I can hear the giant blood whale. It's fine. Bleeping appears to be stable. I think we have now passed the tunnel. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh-oh. Based on my current position of about 
540 to just shy of 300. I'm in the middle of an empty lagoon. Something just swam past me. If I go straight backwards and I don't pass something, that means it's not a fixed point in the ocean. It's not, you know, it's not. Something just went past me and it's not there now. Good. Good, 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 good. Glad we've got that confirmed. Turn around to angle at 043 and take a photo. Not looking. I'm not looking. You can't jump scare me if I'm not looking. Unless there's a big musical sting. Which there might be. Okay. More rocks, but... Is it just me or just that? Take another one. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm thinking an anglerfish. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking big anglerfish right now. So, all right. It's all under control. All we need to do now is head down to approximately, yeah. Uh, what are we looking at? Maybe 140 degrees. Uh, head in this direction towards approximately 615 to 200. Oh. We just banged something. Could have just been a rock. It's fine. It's definitely not the monster. Oh, and I tell you what, I'm getting good at the angles. All right. My starting picked angle of 145, that has actually brought me to an acceptable location. That is near enough to be acceptable straight away. Okay. It turns out I'm a genius at blood submarines. Give it a look. See, not looking. Not looking. Not looking. Okay. Bones. Maybe this is what the giant anglerfish ate. Okay. Current position. Yes, I know you're there, giant mooing bastards. Okay. Just a slow increase, maybe 60 degrees, when we see trouble in front of us. At that point, just ease our way through using proximity sensors. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Coming up on at 7.50 to 270. We got something on my left. All right, I suspect I may have slightly overshot the angle and I'm roughly here-ish. So an angle of 90 degrees, a drifter in, then left, then right again will get me where I want to go. So okay, yeah, about just pure 90. Then again, if I'm here, I might need to, I might need to bear slightly, slightly down. So, okay. Listen. Oh. Bit more. Bit more. Alright. Yeah. We're gaining distance. There we go. We are definitely in the tunnel. Ease her up. Ease her up. Gentle. Okay. The tunnel might also... Okay, the tunnel's got a slight angle to it itself. Let's, let's go a little bit further this way. Beeping easers. There we go. Okay, we are pulling away from the tunnel wall. Good. Good job. Good job, me. But I know there's going to be... Yeah, there's going to be a bit more. Go up to 45 odd degrees to get around... Yeah, the... The little outcrop. Now the problem is I do want the yeah outcrop to be pretty close by to me. Go back to 90. And now we should be sailing pretty much straight over the outcrop. Once we've passed that, yes. Uh 864 to 258. So alright. Bring it back down. Slowly down. 864. Two, what did I just say? Two, five, eight. So as soon as we hit eight, six, four, we go straight down. There we go. Eight, six, four, straight down. No trouble. We are navigating well. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got trouble. Two, five, eight. 
okay, this might be right on the wall. And, okay, I'm pretty nearby. Yeah, this is a small cave. This is a small cave right here. Modify angle to 2, 1, or 209. That should be... That's close enough. Okay, so I am right pressed up against a wall. Continue not looking. Because if I don't look, can't be scary. Okay, is it just me? Or does that look not organic? Like... A very straight line. A series of straight lines. Like a submerged structure. Okay, step one. We are now just getting back out the cave precisely the way we came. This should just be a case of, yes, reversing. Reverse away. Once we are sufficiently high up. Yep, should be no trouble at all. So, I'll let you know if anything terrifying happens on roots. Oh! We just got bumped as well. Anthony just came and gave us a nudge. Okay, current position approximately uh, 570 by 365. 570 I've lined up to make it through here. 365, we should be coming up on the opening. So okay, I'm expecting a proximity alert. Once we get that, start bearing round to the right. Keep on keeping on. What, why should we, oh. There we go. That should be about it there. So, all right. We should be okay. On a very, very shallow angle. Did I just see a very brief flicker to the left too? Because I think we're about through. So, this angle should do me pretty well. Okay, we're definitely through. Deepen the angle a tiny bit. We're now heading 623 to 520. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We had... Moderately confident, given the proximity. We just had a run-in with Anthony there. The angle was not consistent with passing by any cavern. So, okay. Anthony came to say hello. No major problem there. It's all fine. All right. In position, a standard operating procedure, which is push the button and then don't look at the screen. Bones. Definitely big old bones. Something has been eating other things. Then again, maybe not like... Sometimes creatures just die. And if they're in the ocean, that's where their skeleton's gonna be. Okay, doesn't necessarily mean anything's eating anybody. Maybe everyone wants to be friends and nothing terrifying is going to happen. Now the problem we've got here, however, is... Yes. Does... Like, the sandy bit just mean we don't know. We don't know what's there. Because I assume there's got to be a pass here, right? I mean, okay, if I just go straight 270 until I get a proximity alert, then if there's going to be a pass anywhere, it's going to be here. Okay, approaching anticipated unmarked passageway. X350 should do it, yep. Brief contact on the left. That's fine. Okay. Contact dead ahead. I believe I'm currently... Yes, hang on. Somewhere around here-ish. So I think if I just turn dead up now, there has got to be a way through. I mean, if I hit Y at 550 and I've not had... A a front and center proximity alert, then I can be pretty confident that I'm on the right track here, so. Okay. Slight. Slight issue, I'll admit. I need to feel my way around this area until I locate a way up. Which could be over here, potentially. I mean, actually, it could have been could have been where I just was. This entire area could be a false friend's. Oh, hang on, though. It just disappeared. 365 to 550. Approximately here. There is no proximity warning to my left. These are up. These are up. 
I mean, I'm seeing something behind me into the left. Okay, I think there's a narrow passage about here-ish. Oh, also, we're back in a big open bay. Last time we were in a big open bay, that's when we, yes, got uh, passed by and slightly rammed. And also, he came to say hi to us on the... Everything seems to be... Okay, hang on, hang on, sorry. I, I thought things seemed a bit more well lit than I was expecting. No, 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 no. Why is the fire extinguisher not doing anything? Fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher. You have one job and it is to, oh, I feel like this, this is bad. Does anyone know how this happened? Okay, it is horror and there's only three left, meaning... Things might be about to start ramping up potentially. So let's just double down on Operation Don't Look. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. I'm not looking. More ribs, potentially. I don't see anything else. Hang on, is that... That could be a face with eyes. Like quite a cute one. Like a big salamander or something. Okay, it's still there. I think it's dead. Okay. We're down to the last two, and things are about to start getting tricky. I now need to start navigating some really, really tight tunnels, including one that's bloody invisible. So good. Good, 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 good. Right. Straight down at maybe... I don't know. Then again, actually. If I go 200, then I won't get a proximity alert as to when to turn in. But okay, go... 200 degrees until we hit Y660. That should work nicely. Okay, warning it to the right, understandable. We're going to be passing by, yeah, tiny outcrop right there. Should pass it by pretty harmlessly. Yeah, we are now surrounded. I'm anticipating, yes, we should hit approximately 180. We should just be able to keep going straight till we hit 180. No trouble at all. Okay, once we hit 180, then there we go. Narrow bit there. Straight through. And okay. There we go. A little bit earlier than I was expecting, to be honest. But next up, pretty darn steep angle. Maybe 190 straight down till we hit, yeah, 600 that should do us pretty well. I'm hearing some weird ass noises also. Are you still on fire? I think possibly some of the sub was slightly on fire there, but it's all, it's all fine. Can I see the tunnel by the way? Don't look. Never look. Don't look. Nothing but more suspiciously straight lines. Like this is actually a submerged city or something. Okay, keep going. Until we hit the 600. More stuff just leaking. At the back, it's fine. The sub's in bad shape, but also I'm running out of oxygen. Okay. There is 600. We're in good shape. Now I'm aiming for ultimately 180 to 576. Okay, if we just keep going the way we're. Okay, hang on. Hang on. We're wibbling. D does anyone know why we're... Okay. I might be having a psychic wibble because Anthony, in fact, is a cosmic horror creature. Or it might be low oxygen and also... Well, there was a fire. And oh, John, you're welded inside. And there was a fire. There's a lot of smoke in here right now. Okay. We're looking for 180... 576... 180. Just need to be close enough. That's close enough. 18576. Okay, that's fine. Requested angle. 18184. Get it within two. That's fine. If Anthony is a cosmic horror fish, this might be the moment we figure it out. Don't look. Don't look. Don't like this. What is that? That might represent it's a bright light. It might be a bright undersea cosmic horror light. Okay, you know what? Turn her around. Let's go. 
Things are getting weird. I've inhaled a lot of smoke, which apparently like not fun in a submarine. We now need to get out of here, get back into the bay, and then uh, actually, to be honest, this one looks suspiciously not hard, which makes me worry. Now, if I just move away from the cosmic horror shell, is my vision going to recover? And it is. Okay, we're dealing with cosmic horror thing. There is a cosmic horror shell. Oh! Something just rammed me. Something just rammed me. It's fine. The submarine appears to be functional. It's all right. I just want to take a photo of your cosmic horror shell. Okay? No trouble, matey. No trouble. Except, uh-oh. Why do I have a horrible feeling that what's just happened is you've knocked out my radar? Because I'm feeling like... Oh, no. I feel like I should be receiving warning beeps right now. And I'm not. Hang on, hang on, hang on. According to the instruments, I'm currently at... 282 to 673. Which would put me... Why am I out of the tunnel? Okay, stuff's getting weird. And I suspect that might be by design. Okay, we have intersected with Y700. Y700, meanwhile, X338 puts me approximately here. Simply go pure 90 and just keep going until you reach approximately, yeah, 550. Just 90 over to 550. Keep it nice and simple here. Make sure we know precisely where we are and what we're doing. Oh, hang on, hang on. Stop, stop, stop. 700. 460. This is... Okay, the map is maybe not entirely 100% precise. Uh, lower Y to maybe... 680, and then proceed to 550x. Okay, slight issue. It would appear that this tunnel is in fact okay. Hang on, John, you've got a camera. You do have a camera. Oh, hang on. Oh, I don't like this. Straight ahead of me should be an open path, but there's not an open path. There's something in the way. And the only way I have to verify that is to go and take a photo of it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take the photo. Back off. Back off. Back off. Yep. Broadly what I was expecting. I think he's gone. Turn. Okay, we're back to plan A. The tunnel is now clear. He's now on me, and also I just took a photo of him, and he booped me, and then he swam away. But he is now very much aware of my, oh, I'm going to die. Is it going to be a jump scare when I'm just here, or when I'm right by the thing, or just after I take the photo? Like, oh, I bet I take the photo, and what I see is like, yeah. Like him coming at me and like I see his open mouth and then I explode. That'd be good. Sub is taking on, I was about to say water, but no blood. Sub is now taking on blood. We are leaking. Excellent. There's no oxygen. We are leaking. I am welded into this thing at the bottom of the alien sea. I'm having a lovely day. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm going to put money on the photos going to be the mouth. And then the moment I see it, then crunch. Okay. So, 8 to 8. No, no, Back off. Back off into 8 to 8. We're going to do this right. Sometimes the game's more precise than other times. 295. 295. All systems now correct. Oxygen gone. Hull integrity failed. At final sight, have seen giant eye. I'm going to say... Photo of... Mouth. Let's just go. Yeah! Okay. Did
didn't even get the photo in the end. He just decided to come in and say hi. So there you go. That's Iron Lung, which is, I mean, I will say, it's a masterclass in atmosphere. It's a tiny experiment, but it's also a really damn cheap game. There might be a tiny bit more to it. I don't know what happens if, you know, you go around taking more photos, whether you can get more photos earlier on. No clue. But uh, yes, it did. It's very scary. Good horror game. I'll give it that. It did its job very, very well indeed. And uh, who knows, maybe more horror to come in the future. You guys do seem to enjoy watching me suffer, so we shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Iron Lung. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Now I kind of want to see if I can shoot something out of midair, so... Uh, and... Uh, it turns out I'm a genius at guns. Why is it beeping? What's... What's beeping? Oh, my health, because I'm about to die. Everything's fine. You stay the flip down. I wasn't emotionally ready for any of this.